them Cause when you're feeling in your soul Let the sound system Let's turn it up Up A little louder Turn it up Up A little louder Turn it up We never turn it down Universal sound When we hold the pound Take a look around When we touch the town Not the way Something in my big black J's Corny, corny, corny Get stuck in the maze We never suffer fools Had enough of you False friends and loose ends Make me wanna be one fool Fool we got another world tour, touching every shore, from Cali to Singapore. Tour. Every day I'm seeing more, I'm seeing more. To the temple as we rock up tempo instrumentals. I saw my dream in a dream, then I woke up. Put the dream team together, now we, now we. So let the rhythm hit him, just let the rhythm hit him. Cause when you feel it in your soul, let the sound system, let's turn it up. Up, oh, a little louder, turn it up. Oh, a little louder, turn it up. I'm the best, I'm the best, is you know. And I got it, and I got it, on my own. Get my way up, get my way up, get my go. If I touch it, then it's cold. 
Well, we are about 10 miles or so southwest of downtown Los Angeles at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Dallas Cowboys and the Los Angeles Chargers. the former Cornhusker Brett Maher to get this one started and we are underway in Southern California DeAndre Carter now from his end zone and only able to get this to the 19 so probably should have opted for the touchback Start on the ground with Kelly. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. If you're a coach, you'll absolutely take that run every time on first down because it really sets you up to go in a number of directions here on second. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And they're able to get this one across the 35. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back to throw here, Herbert. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. I you put just a little bit too much heat on that one. When you throw it to the outside, you do have to be careful because you got to keep it away from the defender. But you also have to give your own guy a chance, too. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Herbert. Caught by Allen. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Brown. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Well, they held him to a short gain on that one. And it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. They'll send a receiver here in motion right. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line.
search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, Elliott. And he's going to be a yard short. Needed four, but got three. So many things go into making a good play on defense. In this situation, just not being blown out of the way was a big start and then a nice tackle to finish things off. four with Pollard and boy is he close did he get there no they're gonna say he's short of the line to gain Mike McCarthy took the gamble didn't pay off and the Charger defense stands tall and they get the football back the Charger drive about to get going well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football but now they get it back and it's still 0-0 and because of that you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now it's Herbert. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time, he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Now left side on the swing pass. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Here's the first carry for Austin Eckler. And he's able to get this one down to about the 40. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And on third down, the Cowboys bringing an extra defensive back. Out of the gun, Herbert. Finds the open man, it's Mike Williams. He's got the first down and more. Touchdown, Chargers! Mike Williams, 40 yards. And the Chargers get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Hopkins with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal four and take it. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And last time they were stopped on fourth down. Had a drive stalled out. We'll see how they respond this go around. I'm eager to see what their mindset is because moving the ball, feeling good, and then that abrupt stop on fourth down. Do they go back to the bench and go, oh, boy, they've got something for us? Or do they go to the bench and say, we blew it ourselves. Let's get back out there and move the ball again. And is it different when you get stopped on fourth versus punt? Is that more motivation for the defense, a little more confidence? I think as a defense, you're so excited with a fourth down stop. Making them punt, that's your goal anyway. But a fourth down stop, that's almost a sign of disrespect that they went for it in the first place. And when you get that, you feel great about yourselves. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. <laughs> on second and nine, Prescott swinging this out for Pollard. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. 
Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. So as they take it over, we step aside. An extra defensive back on the field for the Chargers now on third down. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Prescott. A dump off to Elliott. They call it no gain there on the first down play. And they couldn't get anything going there out of the right side in the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. On play action, Prescott rolling to his left. Wide open receiver complete. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 44-yard line. Now Prescott. Pass to Tony Pollard out of the backfield. Oh, he faked it with a juke. Now he's got some room. Touchdown. Tony Pollard, 44 yards. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from evening this one up. Getting your back involved, what's the importance there in the passing game? Well, oftentimes you can create mismatches because who's going to cover him? And you get him into space, which is where he likes to operate with the ball in his hands. Oftentimes makes people miss, gets that run after the catch, and off he goes. And into the end zone. Extra point by Marr, up and good. And we are tied at seven. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Charger drive about to get going. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Have to give a lot of credit to the defense on that play. They were prepared. Ordinarily, when they take the big shot downfield to the big guy, that's usually a mismatch that the offense is used to winning. But the preparation showed for the defense, and they were able to bat it away. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Williams brings it in. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 36. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Herbert. He's got his man. That's Everett, the tight end. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Running on first down, Eckler. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. 
A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? And the stop will come inside the five at the four. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up first and goal. This is a very impressive drive, especially when you consider where they started from to now be set up first and goal. Yeah, it's a nice running right there. That's what got them the first down. And at this point, I suggest open up your playbook. You can call just about what you want. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Try to punch it in with Eckler. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two, now third down. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. Oh, he's brought down. And remember here, no timeouts left. They got to get to the line quick. It's a gain of a couple on what should be the final carry of half number one. Hopkins' kick is good. And that will do it for this first half. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. It's the Cowboys who get the football first, and they trail here as well as we resume action in the third quarter. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Dak dropping this one off for Zeke, and he'll go down right around the 47 this time. They'll throw again. Prescott fighting a safety valve here. That's complete. No gain on the play. And it'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. On second down, Elliott. Well, they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Escaping the pressure right. He's got his man. It's Gallup. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. And a really good pickup of 28 yards. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up with a first and goal. 
They run straight ahead here with Pollard. And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. I have to think a major focus of the halftime, Minks, had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operated. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Here's Prescott. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Touchdown, Cowboys. Michael Gallup on the receiving end from Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Extra point by Barr, up and good. And the lead is now 14-10. And this will not work out. The Chargers able to recover. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it, it was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Throwing on second and eight. Herbert on the screen. This is Eckler. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Herbert. And he will go down. A Cowboy sack. Defensive end Demarcus Lawrence applied the heat. Now that was just absolute perfect man coverage. Nowhere for them to go with the football. Led to a sack. And that's really difficult to do in today's NFL with all these gazelles running around that you're trying to cover in the secondary. And that's going to do it. Clock hits zeros. They're not going to get another playoff. Time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Herbert now. Got an open man. It's Josh Palmer. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. The Chargers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and seven. Justin Herbert looking to pass. That is caught. It's Williams. Touchdown. Mike Williams, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chargers answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. Extra point good by Hopkins. And it's now 17-14. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. 
And they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and it'll be second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. From the pistol, here's Elliott. And he'll manage only a couple here up to the 25. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. third down it's Prescott and that is incomplete oh he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground and fourth down now coming up good clean play no flags coming out of the pocket of the officials turns into an incompletion and that should get him off the field with a three and out time. Prescott on fours. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Cowboys here unable to convert on fourth down. And the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. On first and ten, Herbert. And he fires one incomplete. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw at all from the coverage on his primary reads. And he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit. Coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler, 25 yards to the house. And the Chargers will add to their fourth quarter lead. Hopkins with the extra point, And his guys will take a 10-point lead. Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And yeah, the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A good gain on first has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Looking to throw, Prescott. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield and man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. An incomplete pass on second down leads us to third and inches. To throw is Prescott. Open man lamb. It's complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Throwing, Prescott. He'll get this to Elliott. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. 
Inside give to Elliott. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here's Prescott. Man open, that's complete to Dalton Schultz. And he'll get this to the 22. So they began the play at the 11, and it's a gain of 11. First down. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Prescott looks to throw on first. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Now Prescott. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Derwin James with a pick, and the Chargers are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. Well, we knew this was going to be a tall order anyway, down two scores with this little time remaining, but that interception puts an end to any hopes that they had. All right, partner, work with me here because obviously scoring a touchdown, getting the onside kick, then going down, scoring again, well, that's asking a lot, isn't it? And that's really not a great expectation to begin with. I think they'll look back on this game and see what got them in this spot in the first place and say to themselves, we really gave this game away. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. They're going to pass here with Herbert. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. It's another zone defense. It looks like it's open for possibilities, but they did a nice job patrolling the middle of the field and forcing an incompletion. So now third and ten. A big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Now it's Herbert. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Now Herbert. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Herbert. Open man is Palmer. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. Herbert now to throw. Trying to force it to Allen, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Lewis. And the Cowboys come up with a late turnover, but it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. So this one's over. It's in the win column for the L.A. Chargers. And it took a big fourth quarter to do it, but they were able to get the job done, and that's the bottom line. <laughs> no doubt about it. And let's face it, they had to be more than nervous in the fourth quarter. But a lot of that was their own doing. I think you observed during the game, their energy level just didn't seem to be there. But in the fourth quarter, somehow they dug deep and found that extra bit, right? That reserve tank, they hauled it out. Offense scored some points, defense held them, and lo and behold, they walk away with a win. Maybe expend a little more energy than they expected to, but they'll take it. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. So long, everybody.
black superheroes. So southwest of downtown Los Angeles at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Dallas Cowboys and the Los Angeles Chargers. Justin Hopkins about set to get us started, and off we go from SoFi Stadium. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And a great return, solid field position. He's up all the way to the 45-yard line. When we spend our time... Talking to the coaches prior to the game, they emphasized that they wanted a quick start to begin things. Most of the time you think about that on the offensive side of the ball, but in this case, it's the special teams that provide that quick start. Faked to Elliott. Now Prescott. Trying for Brown and it's intercepted. Wow, just one snap in, partner, and the complexion of this game has already changed because for the defensive side, they just handed their offense a short field and a big early advantage. And even though it's only the first snap of the game, we're going to look back on this one and see if it has lasting effects as this game moves on. Going on the ground with Eckler. And not a lot of daylight. Not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. Early down stuffs to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. 
Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Forced out to his left. Looking left side, and it's complete. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. Sets him up nicely, first and goal. It was a pickup of 14. Looking to throw. Herbert. Got a man. It's Allen for the Charger touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that makes the score 7-0. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Well, partner, not exactly the way they drew up the start of this one, but a chance to redeem themselves and hit the reset button here on their second possession. And I do like that word that you just used, reset, right? In a lot of ways, it's just shaking off what happened before, starting fresh, almost like it's your first drive all over again. Go out and put your best foot forward. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. The first carry now for Tony Pollard. And he'll lose yardage here, back to the 15. It's a loss of four, now third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. He juked him. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. And that was a beautifully executed screen pass. They let the rushers get upfield and get the escorts in front, meaning the offensive linemen, other blockers out in front. Completed the pass beautifully. So now you've got all that open space with big guys leading the way. Prescott off play action. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll bring up second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. He'll buy some time right. And he finds his target. It's Schultz. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. And that's how you shake off the interception you threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike, and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Elliott on first down. Got to get this back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Elliott going to get it again on second down. Down to the 30 after a gain of three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Prescott to throw it. Flush to his right. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Decent gain on the scramble to six, but now it's fourth. He didn't like what he saw downfield, decided his best course of action was to take off and run. And that ended up being a gamble that did not pay off for him. Now they would have to gamble again if they want to keep this series going. Yeah. 
And with the play clock at five, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Now Prescott on fourth down. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. Touchdown! Dak Prescott with a connection to CeeDee Lamb. And the Cowboys' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Brett Maher on for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. DeAndre Carter now from his end zone. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Charger drive about to get going. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. That throw into the arms of Allen. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A good pick up there, 26 yards. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. They'll try the right side with Eckler. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. And he's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. From the 40 now on second down. Herbert got his man. It's Williams. Down inside the 10. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Mike Williams, 40 yards. And the Chargers have taken the lead. Hopkins with the extra point. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. That ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. They'll roll him out right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. Oh, and a bad throw there. It's intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. And the Chargers will have the football as this is taken up past the 30. They exited the pocket trying to improvise. That was a tough throw, and unfortunately, it wound up in the wrong pair of hands. And Brandon, when you're on the run, sometimes your downfield vision can get skewed just a bit. Now, the beauty of extending a play is sometimes your receivers find their way open, but oftentimes you end up closing down part of the field and bringing those defenders to the ball, and that one was picked off. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Got a man over the middle. It's Williams. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A charger first there as Herbert finds Williams. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. 
On first down, it's Herbert. He'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. To the air again, Herbert. He finds his target, Allen. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 44-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. On second down, Eckler. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Two yards, good enough for a first. We've hit the two-minute mark in the second quarter. 14-7. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Herbert. Over the middle, and it's caught. Keenan Allen. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Now a good job shifting right, finding his target. And the Chargers are going to have a first and goal as the tackle made at the 10-yard line. first down now and he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds he'll get eight on the scramble there it'll be second and a couple I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit we decided not to throw it on first down but give them credit they recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage but it's only second and short, so that run is still likely to lead. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Chargers. Joshua Kelly taking it in from two yards out. And the Chargers will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point good by Hopkins. And it's now 21-7. to Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver. But they just couldn't connect. And that will send them back to the drawing board. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Now Prescott out to his left. Well, oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. This defense has passed its first two tests by forcing back-to-back -back incompletions. They know that there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. Now Prescott. 
And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Now, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I don't think you sit on the ball going into the half when you have a chance to put some more points on the board. Now, hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. A surprising move to go for it predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off, and the Chargers will get the football back in excellent field position. Position. And this is caught by Williams. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Now it's Herbert. A uh, quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. That's a really nice job there by the coverage, understanding that they're in a high-stakes situation. If he doesn't make a play on that ball, there's an excellent chance it ends up either as a touchdown or as a nice gain downfield. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler, and he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. I don't know about you, Brandon, but I often think to myself, in these situations, I want a back who can create his own space, who can break tackles, and in a sense, become his own blocker. We don't have that guy in the game right now. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Touchdown, Chargers! Gerald Everett in the final seconds of the first half. And the Chargers would extend their lead here just before halftime. Hopkins with the extra point and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. So time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. play of the half. Prescott. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And Prescott his third interception. Picked off by Asante Samuel Jr. And he will be out of bounds with no time remaining on what will be the final action of this first half. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And how about this line out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach, we can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. A good pick up there of 20 yards. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Eckler now between the tackles, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. 
They'll try to pick up the first with Eckler. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Just a yard, but that's all they needed. And by the slimmest of margins, it'll be first and goal. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Back to throw here, Herbert. And he's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. Gerald Everett, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. As his guys have opened up a very comfortable lead. Extra point good by Hopkins. And that'll increase their lead to 28. Following the touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover. They want to try and put points on the board. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Allian. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. On play action, Prescott in trouble here, and down he goes, back at the eight-yard line. That's sacked by Khalil Mack. It's been a tough one all game long for this offensive line. They're already down big, and now you know they're just going to come after the quarterback in a big way, don't you? Yeah, that old, they just can't get out of their own way right now. It's created an avalanche, and an avalanche is coming right on top of them. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Bryce Callahan. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. Going to be blunt, not a whole lot has gone right for this defense in this ball game. But that's something right there, still in the third quarter. It would, it would take something around miracle territory for a comeback, but maybe that's a start, Charles. It certainly is, and they're definitely showing that there's some fight still left in them. Hasn't been a banner day. They're trying their best to put that disappointment behind them and find ways to make plays. Partner, this is almost an unwinnable spot for a defense. They have to come right out for a first and goal trying to stop them. But let me hold on a second. Let me take that back real quick. They can win here if they force a field goal try. Still a long ways away from that happening, but that has to be what they're thinking right now. Second down and goal. Herbert. Oh, that's into a sea of bodies, and it's intercepted. And the Cowboys are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. The one side gets an interception, but their defense comes on the field and picks them right back up by getting a pick of their own. And I think you saw the same thing that I did, Brandon. As he ran off the field after making that play, we saw his quarterback seek him out and offer a personal thank you to bail him out a little bit as the offense takes the field again. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Play action now, Prescott. That one will be incomplete. He caught it but could not stay in bounds for the long connection. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Prescott now. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Elliott. And he'll take this one up to about the six-yard line. They'll get only a yard out of that, and it'll bring up fourth down. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain.
Prescott to throw on fourth. That is caught by Lamb. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down as that'll be a gain of 15 on fourth. So no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. Now they can breathe a little easier. Some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. Prescott. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Prescott yet again. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Nasir Adderley. And the Chargers are going to take possession of the football. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less ex touchdown. Josh Palmer, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Chargers have sewn this one up as they add to their lead here in the fourth. And they'll have Herbert try and throw for it. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. I know we could sit up here and dance around it a little bit, but going for two in this situation, somebody didn't like someone else. <laughs> There's no doubt in my mind. Well, what they couldn't see is you lean back in your chair and you went, <laughs> I mean, you, yeah, that's, that's not a good decision. They didn't get it, though. Yeah, I don't think you can just say, well, my kicker's hurt in this spot. No, no, okay. They run here with Rico Dowdle. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Throwing on second down. Prescott. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. And they'll work this down inside the 30. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. Down to the 25. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. And if you like defensive football, focus on the defensive end on this play. He does everything exactly right. Reads the play and makes sure he spills it for a small gain. Again, Dak going to keep it. No, oh, bottled up. Fumble. It's out. It's loose. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, and that could have been trouble. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Here's Prescott. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped it to one. And they'll try the option on first and goal. Pollard is in. Touchdown, Dallas. That option pitch we saw, we don't witness a ton of that in the NFL, but it worked there down near the goal line for a score. And it's actually a great call in goal line situations because as more and more quarterbacks enter the league with that mobility. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And it's caught inside the five. And he gets into the end zone. We'll give him credit. They're not going to take this deficit lying down. They get too closer here on the fake extra point. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. From his end zone, here comes Carter. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Charger drive about to get going. Well, we've reached 
Well, we've reached the stage where it's a, it's a mere formality at this point. They've got the comfortable lead. We know what the outcome is going to be. I guess the only question is, do they want to put more points on the board before the final gun? Well, I certainly hope not. And I'm being selfish here because you and I have flights to catch. Let's go ahead and finish this one off, guys. <laughs> You've taken care of business. Let's close it out. And you and I, let's get to the airport. Play action. It's Herbert. Blitz coming and down he goes. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. With the late lead, Herbert's going to throw it. And he'll find his man on the out route. That's Allen. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. And he's going to get this down near the 25. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down. Went his way. It worked out. doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. This will be caught inside the 10. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And to me, that touchdown allows you to start grinning widely on your sideline. I think they pretty much locked this one away. Yeah, that's the clincher, the proverbial icing on the cake, if you will. They'll look to throw, and it's intercepted at the goal line. Well, as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted, and... Remember, if you pick it off, you got a chance to take it all the way back and get two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there, but that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. The well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it. They do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. A second down throw for Prescott. Steps away. And that's Elliott complete. And he's across for the touchdown. Too little, too late. But he does get in for six. No wonder you're grinning. You just beat me in our fantasy league. Indeed I did, my good man. And yeah, that touchdown counts for their team. But I think it counts more for the fantasy guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's just something maybe positive to look at on film, but... This one's over, let's be honest. Yeah, I, I agree with you totally on that one. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. So despite the huge deficit, they're going to keep fighting. Here comes the onside kick. And this will not work out. The Chargers able to recover. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation. And now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. Now it looks like he'll throw here. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. I think it's fairly safe to call this game over, but they're still trying to bomb it downfield and add to their lead. Almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit, too. To throw once more on second and 10. Herbert 
And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. They spot it on the midfield stripe. So it is a 60-yard attempt here. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. But Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends, and understandably so. Not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And hey partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on one of those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one, huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance that they're going to cherish. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody. I come alive in the dark, and I keep getting stronger. My limits the sky. I do the impossible, impossible. Breaking the rules, only thing I'm bad at is being a loser. I can make time travel a surprise. Make graveyards feel alive. Break the immortal down to his demise. Look up and beam to the stars so you can turn off the lights. I come alive in the dark. And I keep getting stronger. Tonight I hunt with the pride. You can't take my pride away. I can sing with the birds and the trees in the morning Or roll like the storms way over the ocean My limits the sky I do the impossible, impossible Shine if I want to I win every time if I want to The world mine if I want to Make the world mine cause I want to Even on the days when I'm late as ever my time and it's right even in the darkest moments, stay close, I'm that shine in the light. I can make an earthquake nervous, I can make the sun wear a visor. I can make a wise owl see me as a daily advisor. I'm that cool shade, peaceful night, that's still my breath as a storm, I bet. I can make the thunder clap when I perform, it's just that in the laws of nature, I'm breaking the rules. Only thing I'm bad at is being a loser. Hey, I can make time travel a surprise. Make graveyards feel alive. Break the immortal down to his demise. I make the moon blue, I'm making pigs fly, now I move my
game, don't play with my name. You come with your goals, I'm bringing my game. All of that talking just sound like a show. I'm just letting you know that I'm not entertained. You hear the crowd, they screaming my name. I got the stadium going insane. Done with the talking, it ain't no discussion. You started, I finished, put me in the game. Put me in the game. Yeah. Put me in the game. All of that talking just sound like a show. I'm just letting you know that I'm not entertained. Hey, coach. Put me in the game. They put me in, so I'm going in. You play for fun, I'm playing to win. Back on the wall, I'm ready for war. If I beat them before, I could beat them again. They thought I was done, I went on a run and beat all the eyes and got even again. Watch what you say, I'm not one of them. When I jump in my bag, I could jump out the gym. Take a look at my legacy, I gotta let them see. I'm out here winning, cause I'm on a mission. Put me in the game, cause the way I'm feeling, I honestly do not see no competition. I gotta get it, so it ain't no quitting. We jumped off the benches and jumped in the trenches. No one is better than all of us, and that's why all of us been winning from the beginning it's more than a kid don't play with my name you come with your goals i'm bringing my game all of that talking just sound like a show i'm just letting you know that i'm not entertained you hear the crowd they screaming my name i got the stadium going insane done with the talking it ain't no discussion you started i finished put me in the game put me in the game yeah put me in the game all of that talking just sound like a show i'm just letting you know that i'm not entertained hey coach Put me in the game. Traffic healthy, I be having emotions, you're like the lamb, man, you know I'm exploding. 